It's time to learn about new powers. We'll begin by striking these strong dummies with lightning. With lightning? To be a hero, you need to be trained in swords, archery, and literally the power to fire lightning bolts out of your hand. Is it just me or does one of these powers seem a little more impressive than the others? Oh god, the moment you realize that the cult you've joined is just an elaborate LARP society. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and welcome to episode 398 where we are going to jump in to the Lionhead Studios classic known as Fable. Um, Fable, of course, is a 2004 Xbox action role-playing game, um, which was worked on by 150 people, uh, including the talented uh, Mr. Danny Elfman of Batman and uh, Beetlejuice fame. Uh, this game was enthusiastically hyped by Peter Molyneux, who uh, is a renowned game designer. I think he did Populous, and he did Black and White and stuff. But he also wrote the foreword for the 1001 Games book that we're working from. So we have kind of a personal connection to Peter. Uh, maybe maybe he knows about us, guys. Who knows? Um, this game was actually, interestingly, in development for the Sega Dreamcast before the system was uh, discontinued and it actually was sort of shifted um, to, to the Xbox. And actually, interestingly, you know, like I've always considered the uh, Xbox to be kind of the spiritual successor to, the, to, to Sega anyway. You know, like back when I was growing up, like Nintendo always had like Mario and Kirby and like they're sort of Japanese based games, but Sega was kind of like the American company. No, it wasn't really American, but it had like football and x-men and uh you know it, it was sort of just had it, it felt more american and uh so when sega kind of went under microsoft emerged around that time the xbox and of course the xbox is a very american system you know it has like the master chief is its like main mascot and uh it has you know like sports and, and, and soccer and football and it's just sort of i mean it's microsoft right so um yeah, I've always kind of considered the Xbox kind of like a spiritual successor to uh, to the to the, the Sega to Sega, um, and yeah, so it kind of makes sense that a game uh, in development for Dreamcast would move over to Sega. Um, but anyway, the whole hook of this game uh, was basically the alignment system, um, the idea that you can become good or evil. And the game sort of uh, let you choose. You know, this kind of system has become more common in RPGs since, you know, like Fallout has its karma system and stuff. But, uh, you know, back in the day, um, the idea of choosing good or evil paths was actually uh, relatively novel. So uh, we're going to see it today in action. I've never played this game before, by the way, so I'm excited to play it. Um, I don't know what's happening here in this cutscene, by the way. This guy is just... Practicing his martial arts in a church in the sunlight. Guess he feels like pretty badass. Then he's like, yeah, look at me now. Charging myself on the power of the rays. Like, what is he doing? He's just like, yeah, sunlight. Like, like he's really leaning into it. I don't know. Um, this guy, I guess, imagine this guy in a tanning bed. It would be like, he'd be going nuts. He'd be like supercharging his body. Anyway, let's uh, let's skip past all this, and here we are, Fable, um, as I say, by uh, good old Lionhead uh, Studios. Um, so we got new game options. Uh, let's see, what's in options here? <laughs> Nothing. Okay, uh, we're gonna go to new game and uh, player name default. Um, it <laughs> so I guess we could like name our character default. Um, you know what? Actually, I do. I do want to name my character Default, but I want I want uh, like an old old English name here. So let's erase this. We're gonna go with uh, uh, Deus Deus. Where's the S? Deus. Uh, and we want like an old English spelling of Fault. So uh, Deus Fault with an E. Default. That is my name. The character of Default. 
Uh, we're going to go ahead and click done there. And off we go. Some quests allow you to do boasts relating to the quest. If you can... Okay, that, that tip is gone. Stealing can result in a hefty fine. Make sure you... Oh, <laughs> these things are going so fast. Okay, now we're saving our game. And uh, okay, so they gave us some tips, but they went by rather quick. So that's fine. Um, I love the art here, by the way. This actually looks really Albion. cool. Lay the small town of Oakvale, unchanged by time and untouched by the sword. Okay, so a nice innocent village in Here medieval times. Boy, what could possibly go wrong? Dreaming of greatness, but one day being a hero. All right, makes sense. Many boys do dream of being heroes. Sometimes he imagined himself as a noble knight or a powerful wizard. Good, good dreams, I guess. Good aspirations. And other times he dreamt he'd be an evil warrior. <laughs> oh, okay. But in all his was this kid's name was, Thanos, by the way? Not possibly was, was his name Thanos? Because I before. think I know what this kid's deal is in the future. Um, okay. All right, so that's our intro. We're like a little boy Come who has on, dreams. Wake up. Literal dreams. He's literally sleeping. Oh, look at look. What? Look at his hands. What? What is up with his hands? They're ginormous. Maybe this kid is Thanos. He's like being raised to wear oversized uh, magical gloves. He's he's from a young age being trained to wear gauntlets, big Infinity style gauntlets. You know what? Forget about forget about default. This that's a pseudonym for sure. This kid is totally Thanos. Um, okay, so I need to buy my sister a present. Gotcha. Will do, father. Talk to people marked on your map with a green dot. They have something interesting to say and uh, will highlight green when you approach them. Press A to talk to a highlighted person. Okay. Let's uh, see who we can find here. Um, there's a little girl uh, and a chicken. Um, interesting. All right. Um, actually, wait. Is she a green dot? I'm having trouble reading the map. Like, it... Okay, that Tracy. was her. I left her, and I can't remember where. Who or what is a Rosie? Her stuffing needs changing today, and I can't find her. Please help. Okay. She's a lovely little furry bear with a... All right, if I find a bear, she's all yours, little girl. Um, is that it? There's, there's kind of like a green dot still here, I guess. I, I don't know what's going on. We're going to run over here. I think there's another one over here. What do we got going on? Reveal a quest to me, please. Oh, he's... <laughs> Ooh, people he's smooching. So <laughs> oh, okay. What, what uh, kind of quest could I've this just, be? Um, I've, I've never even met this woman. Who is she? Hey, man, it's your business. You want to be smooching Look, sonny, behind a parlor. Shut about this, right? What? Why? My wife's home with our little ones, oh. and I'm supposed to be working. Oh, I get it. Infidelity. Okay. I mean, whatever, but man. It's not my business to, to intervene. Likes, don't you think? Tell you what. If you uh, I'm staying neutrally in this one. I'll give you a gold piece. Oh, really? A bribe, you say? Will you take his bribe and commit a bad deed? Beware, gossip travels very quickly in Oakville. Good uh, luck. sure. Here, yeah. Have this gold we took the bribe. Why not? Don't get tied down to one woman. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Look after yourself. Forget Okay, everything. so already this game is encouraging uh, polyamory. Um, and we've committed a bad deed, apparently. By not by not saying... I guess it's taking the bribe. Maybe if we had just seen him uh, committing the act and we had not taken the bribe, things would have been okay. But we took a bribe, and that's, I guess therein lies the issue. All right. So, where are we going next on the radar here? Um, so, I find the radar is a little weird because, like, it's not rotating with the character, so it's a little hard to you follow. But, uh, anyway, uh, the land here, by the way, is, like, pretty cool looking, I will say. Like, the, the, the town looks really interesting. Uh, all the characters look kind of interesting. Um, let's see what this guy... Let's see what this guy wants. Hello, sir. You have a quest for me? Hello, lad. I'm a trader. I wander the world buying and selling wares, especially to find folk like your good self. Something All right, well, like sell me something. Sister. And it's her birthday. And it seems you haven't got her a present. It just so happens that I have a rather nice box. How does this guy know so much about me, by the way? To put a smile on any sister's face for only three gold pieces. Okay. Sold. Would you like to buy the sweets? 
Uh, how about now? Later, but hurry before I eat them myself. Remember, what kind of sales tactic is that? If you don't come back, I'm gonna eat my product. Look, that, right, got you, you little. What ruffian. is happening now? I've heard reports that you've been doing bad deeds. What? Th that guy totally told on me, didn't he? To he asked me to take a bribe. What? Accessory? I literally just saw them. I didn't do anything. Sort of this is like that Seinfeld acceptable. episode where the characters no get in trouble for not stopping a mugging. Fined by the town guard. I could be fined? I, I, I didn't kiss her. I'm not married. What, what, kind of, what kind of strict laws you got going on here? No wonder Thanos wiped out half the population. Maybe half the population needed to be wiped out to set your crazy, archaic laws in order. about husband of mine? Oh, this is the wife. woman I don't I run his house, bring up his children, and what do I get in return? Nothing. I mean, that, that sounds like a raw deal, but... I mean, it's not really my place to get involved, so I, like, I'm just staying neutral. No, I, I have not seen him. with other women, I reckon. If you do sure. see him, you'd be doing a very good deed to let me know. I mean, from your perspective, yes, but I don't know the ins and outs of your marriage. Maybe you guys, maybe, maybe he's justified. Who knows? Who knows? I'm not saying he is, but I'm just saying, like, why is it on me to get involved? I'm, I, I'm staying out of that one. The game is ranking it as a bad deed, but uh, I think that I think that one's neutral, guys. My own oh, opinion there, but oh, thank goodness! Listen, lad, could you do me a favor? I've got to, you know, answer a call of nature. Oh, stay here and watch this stock for me. Just stand between those two stacks and don't move. I'll put okay. a good word in for you when just, I get back. Just stand, right. go stand in a place, and that will count as a good deed. Sounds. A My cousin confused. says that the barrels in these warehouses might have stuff in them. Quick, while he's away, smash his barrels up and see what's inside. Unless you're too scared. Why don't Unless you don't smash the barrels, girl. kid? What? Okay, look, Thanos does not bow to peer pressure, you little pipsqueak. You're just making me not want to smash the barrels. So, I, I, I don't know what to tell you, kid. Go smash the barrels yourself if you want to, but why? I'm not stupid enough to do your dirty work. You're just going to blame it on me. I'm going to get in a lot of trouble. Before he gets back. Nope. I'm just standing here. I'm, I'm doing the good option, doing nothing. Can I attack you, though? I think I... Can I? Hold on here. How do I attack the kid? Fine. Have okay. Stupid good deed, then. Well, it wasn't that good. I tried to beat you up. But I'm glad the game counts it as me being good. Is beating up bad people good? Excellent. Thanks, lad. You've done me a big... I'll let your dad know what a splendid watchman you made. Okay, great. Thank you. Um. All right. I still still kind of want to beat up this kid, but I guess I'll I'll let that go. Are these the boxes? What was what was the kid talking about anyway? Like these barrels in here? These barrels are breakable. To attack them, blah blah blah. Uh, what happens if we do break one? You committed a bad deed. Okay. All right. That's it, eh? So we we you know we did a half good there. We did watch the guy's barrels, but then we broke an empty barrel. Why is it a bad deed, by the way, to break a barrel? I mean, I guess it's not mine, but it was just like an empty, rotting barrel. Was it like that guy's prize antique barrels that he didn't want us breaking or something like that? Uh, what's going on here? Please help! He goes around the town beating up anyone smaller than him. Are you does, does he? I bet you could scare him off for good. Hmm. Beating people up. You are appealing to my violent nature. You only build hate characters when they have a red highlight. You know, maybe I will dabble in getting involved in this one. To attack a non-hostile character, you must walk onto them by pulling and holding the L trigger and then pressing X. I don't want to beat up the kid. You know what? Let's beat this guy up. Why not? Come on, buddy. Punch it to the back. Yeah, you get out of here. You better run away. You performed a good deed. Remember to talk to your father. Remember, beating up the right people in life is considered good. You stopped too good. I figured, like, a game that had more sophisticated moral choices would talk yeah. about, you know, the complexities of using violence to solve problems, so even if the violence is good, you know, like, the means justify the ends. Oh, we got a teddy bear. Cool. I'll give that to my sister, maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe she'll enjoy a nice teddy bear. Um, anyway, and off we go. Um, uh, I wonder... 
wonder what else we got going on in this little village here, this village. My kid's just so happy now because we beat up that bully. Surely he's not going to get beat up when I'm not around. See, that's the trouble with bullies. If uh, you do get someone else to deal with them, then when that other person is around, the bully will just be like, well, now so-and-so's not here to protect you. Then they're going to beat you up even worse. So did I really do that kid a favor? I don't know. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. I'm just messing with the controls here. So you can bring the map up and make it big like I did a moment ago. Um, so I guess this is... I'm a man of my word. My father? So here's the gold for your good deeds. Ah, he's paying me off but for being good. But if you think that I'll turn a blind eye to your mischief, you're very wrong. Okay, but Look, we're... Try to keep Gotta be good. So, have you got enough money for a gift for Terry? Oh, yeah, okay. The candy guy. We're supposed to go buy candy. You now have enough money to buy a present for your sister... The gold symbol shows you where to go. So, let's go do that now. How do you run, by the way? Okay, I can I can walk slowly. How do you run? Yeah, I guess he can't. It's kind of kind of disappointing. There must be a way to run. I'm sure there will be a way to run. Look at all these people here just hanging out, partying. Can't tell with that kid. Nobody else to talk to, though. I guess. What? You again? What? This guy again? Rather regularly. Why? Why is the like town sheriff taking such like a a particular interest in this little kid? Like, what's the worst thing I've done? Break a barrel and uh, not tell on a cheating husband. Give me three gold pieces now, and they're yours. All right, creepy candy man. You want the three gold pieces? Young sir, there you go. they are yours. Wish your sister a happy birthday from me now. That's the creepiest thing I ever heard. Who are you, man? Why are you wishing my sister a happy birthday? How do you know so much about my, my personal life, creepy candy man? You know, when I moved, uh, when I moved downtown uh, in Toronto um, years back now, there was actually like a local candy store that, uh, that, that was sort of like it was like cool to attend. It had like international candy and stuff, and like people from the university would go there. But it was a candy store, so a lot of kids went in. But the couple that bought the candy store... Because uh, it changed owners right when I moved there. Was like this this middle-aged couple that seemed to like hate children and hate the fact that they owned a candy store. Like it could have been a joke. It literally could have been a joke. Like this couple would give you the evil eye and glare at you when you came in. And they were like just always frowning and really like curt and, and rude to you. It was bizarre. You run a candy store. How about smiling once in a while? <laughs> anyway, um, this is my sister, I guess. Um, she's just been standing in a field. I'm still doing nothing, which present. sounds again quite creepy. People in this this land have uh, odd it's just odd like uh, hobbies. Come on, I guess. Let's go home. Anyway, we're giving her candy. She's having dreams, home. prophetic dreams. Surely nothing bad will happen here. Um, I guess we're gonna go home now with our with our candy in tow. Wait. Um. There's something wrong. Uh -oh. Bandits! Bandits! <laughs> Bandits! Oh! 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 That! Oh! That guy's dead. You've got to hide. Okay. I. I didn't think that this was gonna be that big of a deal, but I think I think the guy got killed. Um, is that my sister? Oh, he's, he's, he's kicking the body. Okay. Oh God! Oh, they just sliced that woman in half. I'm pretty sure that was not my sister, actually. Oh god, it was all fun and games until a bunch of random bandits showed up and slaughtered the town. Bandits wielding torches and steel, slaying and burning all in their path. Oh my. That's not good for business. Blood red flames lit the night as the villagers screamed and begged for mercy. And soon, their bodies filled the streets. Uh, yikes. Things got real, guys. Things just got real. Well, we all knew Thanos needed a backstory. So. House where the boy and his family lived. It was then they had slaughtered so many to find. What? Really? What did we ever do to the bandit? The father fought to protect his kin. Bet we told on him. See if my dad had just kept his stinking mouth shut like I did. None of this would have happened. They had to go the blab into the, the sheriff because it's moral. But could not find Guess the what, boy. Dad? The world is an ambiguous place. And threats. His mother and you gotta look out for yours silent. and your own. Oh, tortured my mother and sister! 
<laughs> Dear God! That is dark, man. Like binding them in ropes and carrying them away. From the nearby woods, the boy watched as all he knew was taken away. His whole life was crushed to ashes. So he was alone. He uh Oh my god, that's that's quite a backstory there. You know, when your whole family when your father is slaughtered and your mother and sister are brutalized, tortured, and kidnapped in front of you, and your whole village left to burn. That's hardcore, man. It's hardcore. Alright, let's try and get to this uh radar point. Not that that way's blocked. Uh, that way's a dead end. How do we do this? A path over here? Yeah, there's a path. Yikes. So I'm pretty sure... Pretty sure our village is done. I'm pretty sure, you know, it now no longer matters that that guy was cheating on his wife. Um, I mean, nothing matters now. Those That guy's broken barrels. Uh, is this going to reset our karma, by the way? Because when you, when you do bad things, but it no longer matters at all, can we just, like, call it even? There's my house burning to the rubble. I was born in that house. Many good memories in that house. It's all gone now. There's my dead father. Oh, God, kid. Yikes. W where does one go from here, I wonder? Oh, God, a bandit! What do we do? What do we do? Oh, it's a cutscene. I mean, we can't do anything, but... Oh! He died of a broken heart. We must leave. Or... It's not safe here. Got stabbed in the back by that guy. Dead. You don't want to join them, do you? Then give me your hand. Who is this mysterious... Stranger. I mean, what choice do I have? I mean, I have literally no family in the world. This guy didn't murder me on first sight, so we might as well trust him. Okay, so this guy can teleport. I guess he's got the space stone. Saving your game. Alright, so things have started off pretty rough for us. I thought you'd have a stronger stomach than that. Come on. Get away from me, weird old man. Save your energy, boy. It's not me you want to fight. You might not realize it, but I just saved your life. There's nothing left for well, you. Well, I mean, it was well, pretty obvious you'd stay, when you killed the guy who wanted to kill me. So. The rest of them. Come with me. Okay. Well, we're starting a new life with a mysterious stranger. I like it. Maybe My we'll be trained up like a uh, Robin or something. Of heroes. You must have heard of it. You'll find nowhere safer in all of Albion, nor a better place to call your home. And if it's vengeance you want, you'll need the training only we can offer. Sweet. Make me a Batman. Turn me into a Dark Knight. Well, I'm, I'm all about the vengeance, man. Let's do it. To the Guildmaster. He'll be your guide from now on. Okay. So we're joining a mysterious school of heroes to become a dude. Let's start skipping we'll these cutscenes, the by the way, like blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. We get the, we get the gist. It's time to wake terrible, up. terrible, horrible backstory. And uh, now... Ah, crap. What are we supposed to do? <laughs> I guess we should always watch the last cutscene. Uh, where are we going here? Okay, we have to get to the, the yellow radar point. So we seem to have been recruited into some kind this of uh, school you can buy or something here. like that. I don't know what where we are. To make a Looks like uh, Harry Potter here to make a purchase. Uh, not right now, good sir. I'm trying to get to a glowing yellow orb. How do I leave this strange building that I'm in? So yes, my one com my one real complaint about this game so far is that the radar is a little hard to follow because um, the map never rotates. But uh, okay, we found ourselves outside. Oh, look at this. Look at this. The environments in this game are actually pretty impressive so far, I will say. Uh, I like the look of this game. Yeah. Both the cutscenes, like the animated cutscenes, the environments. It's all pretty awesome looking. Cool. Let's like, like drink it in for a second here. Like, look at this. It's this great. Um, anyway, I think here's where we're supposed to go. Uh, looks like we're going to learn how to fight. All right, lad. It's time to see if you've any potential. Get in the ring. Yeah, let me at that scarecrow. I'll tear him apart. I want you to hit that dummy as hard as you can. I'll tear him up like a Kleenex Just at a snot party. I tell you to stop. Let me at him. I want to go all vicious on him and like rip him apart with like my mouth and my rage. Ah! Yeah! Ah! It's kind of the anger. Just You're isn't there. Much of an impact there, are you? Didn't didn't really seem. Yeah. 
Try All that exciting. This. I was hoping my guy would be far more vicious about it. Ah, a stick. A weapon. Press the... Is that black or white button? It's kind of a gray. I guess it's white to equip the stick. All right. Ah, there we go. All right, we got a stick. Let's beat this thing to... to pummel it into shreds, man. Ah, we did. Ah, we smashed a dummy. Like it. And it had the time when stone in it. Look at that. Like this dummy. Destroy the dummy. Experience all. Man, all right, Thanos is getting his first Infinity Stone a little early, as a child. It's very important that you collect these orbs, or you won't learn anything. It's very important to collect these orbs. Old man, you have no idea. You can pick up an experience orb by walking over them, or pull and hold the R to drag toward... Oh, I like that. That's kind of cool. Hold the R. Blink. Well done, lad. Now then, tomorrow we'll... That's the guild alarm. Sounds like there might be something loose in the woods. Oh, no. This is a good opportunity to test your spirit. What? I'll wait for you at the Guildwood's entrance while you deal with the problem. Wait, there's some Once there's done, some creature loose in the woods sufficient for you to ri ring the alarm for the entire citadel and you want to send a child? All right, kill the beetles infesting the guild's wood. Uh, all right, let's do it. I mean, again, doesn't seem like you should send a child. Details of the map. Use your marker to guide you. Hmm, okay. The gold region. Use the L to scroll through your inventory. A to select an option. B to go back. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, look at this. Okay, so quests. Current quests. Um, all right. Kill the beetles. Kill the beetles infesting the guildwoods. Kill the beetles infesting the guildwoods. <laughs> it's kind of repetitive there, but whatever. You know what? Let's kill the beetles infesting the guildwoods. I have a hunch that's what we should do. All right, off we go to slay some beetles with a stick. I, I feel like a, in a lot of RPGs, the very first RPG, the very first quest a character gets is like some low-level, uh, you know, pest control. You know, it can fall out. You're killing rats Use or ants. Stick. In this game, we're killing beetles. Did a, did an old man just whisper in my mind, use the stick? That's kind of cool that the game's like giving you tips like as you're playing. All right, where are these? Where are these things? Where are these beetles? There they are. Slaughter this one. Yeah, I'm a hero of legend. Oh my god, is that a girl screaming? Wait, what's happened? Do I have a companion here? No. Okay. Was it in my head? No. These beetles, do they have, like, the souls of lost orphans or something? Let's suck up all these. Oh, yeah. Sucking up the experience orbs. What is happening with the, uh, with the screams? It's weird. I guess it's just the screams the beetles make. It literally sounds like a small child screaming, but whatever. There's nothing creepy about that. Ah, <laughs> there we go. We passed the level. Our character is shirtless, screaming triumphantly at the sky. <laughs> I enjoy the enthusiasm, but please put on a shirt, dude. <laughs> well done, lad. I like the to imagine that he actually took dead. his shirt off and just had a moment to himself now. where he just screamed violently at the sky, brandishing his stick as he did so. Uh, can we inspect this corpse? I guess we can't. I was trying to inspect the, the bug corpse there. Did not work. All right. Uh, consider the Guildwood free of beetles. We are, we are the legendary hero of, of old. Um, it's interesting, by the way, that this game focuses on uh, good and evil. You know, that was like the big contribution of this game. The developer, Big Blue Box, was a satellite studio of Lionhead, as I mentioned at the beginning of uh, this, this playthrough here. Um, and Lionhead, of course, was a studio by Peter Molyneux, and they did games like Black and White and stuff. And uh, if you remember back when we played Black and White, that game was very focused on good versus evil. Do you wish to leave childhood behind? Yes, I do! Yes, I do. The guild is um, now the boy's life. But yeah, Pete, I feel like Peter Molyneux's sort of MO, his uh, major theme in all of his games is sort of bed, good bones. versus evil. We were supposed to meet the guild good. master lazy on bones. the other side of the river. All right, let's do it. Get me out of bed. Um, you know, if you think about it, like other game developers also sort of have uh, interests. Like Will Wright was interested in simulation. Uh, searching through containers is a good way to find handy items. Be careful of the stealing. This is, isn't this mine? Don't I live here? You find nothing of interest. Interesting. Um, 
Wait, how do I get out of here? That's an important question. I guess it's down here. But yeah, like, Will Wright, he's interested in, like, simulation. Like, he had SimCity, SimAnt. Um, later on, Spore, which uh, actually sounded like a way cooler game in development than it actually ended up being. Um, and uh, who are other people? Like, Sid Meier's, he's interested in, like, civilizations and r railroads, as, as we found out recently. So all, this, the, all the grand simulation from civilizations down to individual railroads... Um, I seem to be lost, by the way. I don't know how the heck to get out of here. How did I get out of here before? I'm, like, totally lost. I, see, I can't follow this radar. It's so frustrating. Um, anyway, back here somewhere? Um, but yeah, anyway, so Peter Molyneux's thing, I think, is, is he's, like, got an interest in portraying good versus evil. Um, and fair enough. I mean, like, it's an interesting concept to explore. Um, and so far, I think this game, um... You know, I mean, we haven't seen too much of the good and evil stuff, but, like, as just an, as an action role-playing game, it's, like, uh, seems pretty good. Um, no. Seriously, I, like, the when we, when we got out to the courtyard last time, we got out so easily. How come I can't figure it out this time? Where are we supposed to go? Like, I'm going the opposite. See, this is why I wish the radar would, like, turn and follow me, like, go the right way at least. Okay, there we go, there we go. Um, and I remember the exit's, like, right around here. Boom! We made it! We successfully solved the puzzle of leaving the castle. That is a confusing castle, let me tell ya. Oh, yeah, drink it in, everybody. Let's get our stick out. Our, our, no. <laughs> I, I, I was kind of curious if we could just, like, beat up, beat somebody up. Hey, what is this? An apple. Well, take it. An apple, whoa. Hey, what are those guys doing? Are those guys just beating on each other? Look! They're like standing in a field, randomly beating each other up. Is that consensual? Are they? Oh look, they are. Wait, are these guys LARPing? Is this just an elaborate LARP society? Oh god. Oh god. The moment you realize that the cult you've joined is just an elaborate LARP society. Yeah. Um. You can put that old. <laughs> you can put that old stick away. I actually, you know what? I make fun of LARPing, but uh, I would never LARP myself. I think it takes a little more, uh, you know, courage or dedication than I'm willing to put in. Oh, we're getting a sword this time. Um, I don't think I'm not the kind of person who would go to like Comic Con dressed up as anyone or anything. But I have seen LARPers in parks and stuff near me, and it is kind of cool. Um, and now we're gonna get to LARP with her! Smash, smashy, smash, smash! Uh, we don't actually get to hurt her. Uh, what a letdown. Oh, you can! Okay, so you can charge up your, your sword, then you can smash! What I'm about to teach you could well save your life one day. I'm listening. Lay it on me. a dangerous one, and you must learn to block your enemy's attacks if you expect to live long. Okay. Whisper will try to hit you, but you can block her attacks with your sword. Not mm -hmm. all blows right. can be blocked, but you should be able to handle anything Whisper can throw at you. It's because she sucks, right? Press and hold down the Y button to block. While blocking, you can roll out of the way of your enemy's attacks using the left stick. Alright. Come at me, bro! Come at me! Aha! You can't hit what is blocking, huh? This is, like, very easy to stand here. How about we do some rolling? Hit! Huh! Ha! Can't hit what you can't catch, can you, Whisper? Hit! Ha! Hit! Alright, enough of that, I guess. Now, let's see if you can combine attack... Oh, God, what is that giant mech walking up behind you? Ah, hello. Oh, it's a dude! I thought it was, like, a robot. I mean, he walks like a robot. You could say that. Whisper told me you've got a training with some fan boy. Maze thinks the boy has great potential. Enough to hide you, my whisper. Ha! <laughs> well, why don't we see? Whisper and the boy are just working on their melee skills now. It's pronounced melee, right, children. Let's like see in Super Smash Brothers team. melee. This will be a no hint, holds barred, hint, guys. If you're just curious like your about final melee test. upcoming Prepare episodes, yourselves. spoilers. I won't say anything else. I mean, I guess I've said enough. Anyway, let's kick Whisper's butt here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh god, oh god. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she can dodge too, eh? Oh god, oh god. Oh, she's a little, a little, uh, a little tougher to beat than it looks. It's okay. 
I wanted to do this without taking a single hit, but uh, I guess I screwed that up. So here we go! Oh god! Oh god, she's blocking! I'm gonna do my power strike on her. Alright, here we go, come on. I'm trying to be, like, real careful here. Don't want to actually die to her. That's all wrong, oh, I think I killed her. You need to practice more. Yeah, Shame you suck. Fight in the arena. You might have learned a thing or two. Keep training if you want to go there yourself one day. I could have beaten him if you hadn't stopped us. If I hadn't lost, I would have won. Without the two of you tearing each other apart in training. Speaking of which, meet me as I make my way to the archery range, when you're ready to continue your lessons. Oh, and about your melee performance. A couple of minor mistakes, but otherwise good work. It's pronounced melee. Get it right, old man. It's like you've never played a Smash Brothers game in your life. Do you want to repeat melee? Continue or repeat? Isn't that kind of confu confusing or ambiguous? Do you want? Why not just yes or no? Continue or repeat? The range to I guess continue. Just the wording of that just struck me as strange. Anyway, uh, it was fun. Can we give her one punch for the road, sucker? Sucker punched her. Stop right now. Oh, you're not allowed to do that, eh? Okay, well, whatever. Ready for your archery uh, yes. Train me like Hawkeye now. We're going through the Let's full Avengers, the Avengers, bow. Avengers training regime here. The U longbow. Let me add it. See if you can hit the three stationary targets. Oh, I'll hit your three stationary targets. Press the black button to unsheath your bow. As in melee combat, use the left trigger to lock on. Press and hold down the X button to draw back the arrow. I get it. Sounds pretty straightforward. Let's get this bow going. Lock onto one of the and let's go for the far one. And boom. Easy. How about you want some too? Well, I like how the dummies like slowly retreat after you've shot them. They're like, oh man, I'm getting the hell out of here. BS, man. Don't well shoot done. a defenseless scarecrow. You hit all the targets. Yes, I did. most foes don't stand still. So... Okay. So we're going to now uh, click the left thumbstick to switch between view modes. All right. Press and hold X. Come on, lad. Got it. Get your bow out. All right. Let's shoot these things. Uh, I guess I got to zoom. Oh, there we go. Look at this. Targeting mode. I don't like that the up and down is reversed. All right. Let's shoot this guy. Kablam! Yeah, right in the gut. And one shot for you, too. All right. Now we just need the, the distant guy, I guess. Wait for it. Oh, we missed! What? Totally did not miss it. Let's shoot this guy just for fun. Okay, kabam! Oh, there we go. That was, that was a Hawkeye move, right? Just two back-to-back -back like that? Oh, we got that. Oh, I was trying to go for the, the second guy. I got the first guy by mistake. Let's uh, shoot him again. Why not? He can he can eat all the all the arrows. Fire. Oh, I missed. I missed again. Gah! Just keep getting headshots on that guy. Let's do another headshot. Oh, we're missing. I think, okay, we got a headshot there. I think we should maybe try and give up on headshots. Yeah, let's go for the gut shots. Yeah, one for the gut. And one for the gut. Okay, how many do we have to shoot here? Do we just go until we're bored? Is that it? Um, oh, there's a timer. Four, three. Let's get one more. Yes. One second. All right, did we do it? Choice of shots, especially for a first attempt. All right. A satisfactory is a grade I can live with. I will continue. We will learn about the ways of the will. The ways of the me will. When you're ready to continue with your training, I'll be heading to the island by the. Okay. Well, I'm ready, so I'm just gonna follow you. Really, just gonna just walk casually, just drink it all in together, to enjoy the scenery, sir. Just out for a casual walk with my master. Oh, look, there's some Come dummies by a tree. And, uh, ooh, a chest? What is this? Hark, a chest. The people of Albion like nothing more than hiding their treasures inside wooden chests. You also find special silver chests around the world. To open one, you need the correct number of keys. Twenty? Twenty keys? What kind of chest needs twenty keys? How do you even design a chest like that? Let me take up my rage upon finding that out on a dummy. Twenty keys! That's freaking ridiculous! All right, I'm satisfied. Let's... Continue the waterfall. What are we training We're here, by the, the way? Will left to learn. Le the wills. The power of wills. It's time to learn about will powers. 
We'll begin by striking these strong dummies with lightning. With lightning? All right. What are you talking? What are you even talking about, old man? Pull and hold the right trigger to access your willpowers. Available powers will be displayed in the bottom right of the screen. Up to three powers can be accessed this way using A, B, and X to use your lightning power. You pull what? Lightning? Pull the right trigger and hold X. Maybe this is Avengers. Like, we're now... Look at this lightning. We're summoning the power of Thor. We're like every Avenger rolled into one. And we're Thanos, so... I don't even know what that means. ...facing the center of the island. You won't get any points for hitting one on the back. You will only waste valuable mana. Mana. Using your willpowers depletes your mana. Mana. Once used, it takes time to replenish. All right, dude. So... To be a hero, quickly switch between targets, press and release left trigger. Okay. To be a hero, you need to be trained in swords, archery, and literally the power to fire lightning bolts out of your hands. <laughs> Is it just me or does one of these powers seem a little more impressive than the others? Zap, zap, zap go the scarecrows. Um, I'm calling it, I think my character is a god. He might be a Norse god. Um, I mean, cool. Cool. Um, but I, I, I wasn't expecting... <laughs> I wasn't expecting to be able to do that. Okay. So our character, do we want to repeat the will training? No. So continue. You have learned the three hero disciplines. Uh, the three basic disciplines. Sword play, archery... And firing god dang lightning bolts out of the tips of your fingers. Through sheer will alone. Through sheer will alone. Do you wish to continue the next stage of your training and into adulthood? Or play with Whisper? What, what, what does that mean? I'm going to continue to adulthood. I think playing just means fighting her. I mean, we fought enough. We know who the alpha dog is. We definitely know who the alpha dog is. Hint. It's me. The but there was always more to learn. Before you graduate, there is one final test you must complete. Lay it on me. Woods hey, look, I'm, an, I'm a man at now. The, top of a hill. the test will be revealed to you there. Good luck. I'm a man with the fashion sense of a choir boy. I wish they let me, like, choose the dress of my character, because, like... I mean, you can be a good guy, but dress more badass than this. This guy is kind of lame. He, he, a little lame. Also, I like how in the uh, mini-map there, the little lake in this area looks like a bicep. It reminds me of the bicep from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia when they were trying to recruit dudes for their party house. Your years of training. We'll begin with your sword. Hit me, if you can. All right. Hey, isn't that a line from The Matrix? This guy's ripping off The Matrix, man. All right, train, let's zap him. Oh God, oh, he's zapping me back, I think. Okay, so we can't zap him. That, that was a failed experiment. All right, let's just attack him with our sword. Hey, he keeps teleporting away. Get back here. Get back here and well suffer blades. Yeah. Go on, I like that like power me. strike. Very good. Now, shoot me with your bow. Uh, don't get too close. Uh, if you insist. I like how my training is just like literally murder, murder your master. Where is he? There he is. Um, hold on. Aim at him. Where'd he go? Reveal yourself, sir. Seriously, where is he? Uh, notice, notice in the upper right corner again that lake kind of looks like a bicep from It's Always Sunny. Um, he's blocking my arrows. Are we supposed to do anything else? How about we? Give him what for? Use your bow, not a melee weapon. Oh, he says, use your bow. All right. Is this all you want? Like, I was expecting some kind of actual test where I had to do or achieve something. I'm just literally... It, you're not even moving. Like, at least the dummies Excellent. moved. And finally, cast lightning at me. If, if, if you want me to, zap, zap. Wait, where are you? Zap, zap. Am I hitting you? Zap, zap. Uh, I don't even know if this is working. Zap, zap. Where are you? Here. There you go. All right, that that was enough, I guess. Quite impressive for a novice. 
you will find real battles rather more fatal than this. You mean my enemies won't just stand there beckoning me to attack them while doing nothing? I'm shocked! Real battles? Harder than this? You don't say. Alright, we're successfully trained, I guess. I don't feel trained. Like, I don't feel like I'm really ready for the next stage. Again, I, I totally believe him that real enemies are going to be harder than that. I thought there'd be an actual fight, but... I guess we're ready? I, I'm just going to take his word for it. He's the mysterious expert. He would know, right? I mean, I, I assume he would. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe we're screwed. We well, were trained really poorly. Day, I remember the first night you came to us. And look at you now. Yeah. Maze's faith in you was well placed. Now come along. The graduation ceremony will take place in the Chamber of Fate, the oldest part of the guild. Okay. I'm ready to graduate. Let the apprentices approach. All right. For many years now, you have worked hard to earn yourselves the title of hero. They just Today, give that title out, that eh? apprenticeship ends and you go... Okay, skip. Blah, blah, blah. We're going to go do great deeds. I mean, I guess. Time shouldn't we Shouldn't we kind of look for a job, I though? Like, how am I going to sustain myself give. in the real world? There are kind of some practical I'm issues here, like food, money. Quests, uh, wish heroes you know, <laughs> shouldn't like, well, like, should I just go around solving people's problems for free and just helping out anyone who has any kind of issue or it, it just seems like a bad education system, I'm saying, to like train a bunch of people to be able to fight and then just have them aimlessly wander, solving random problems, but whatever. Um, anyway, we've come a long way, I think. We went from uh, a scared little boy in a village to a trained hero. Um, oh, wait, what is this? Experience strength. Uh, use strength to improve your strength, toughness, and health. Become a better fighter. Wield heavier weapons. And protect yourself from damage with each advance. Okay. Use skill to improve your speed, accuracy, and guile. Become a better archer, a more nimble thief, and an agile ranger, or a keen trader. With each advance, you'll become... Okay. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Willpower. Defining yourself by a set of spells you use. Magical energies will gather around your body. Interesting. Hmm. I like how this guy has four arms, by the way. He's, he's like, I have become Mecha Shiva. All right, skills. Um, oh, we actually get to pick which one. Speed affects your agility in combat, giving you accuracy. I like Guile. Guile's kind of the way that I think I would go. Um, I like I like Guile in theory, though. But here's the thing. Knowing me, I would probably just mess it up. Uh, I think if I were to continue to play this game, I should go with Guile. But I think we should go with Strength. You've so, strength. okay, strength you great to help, you so let's see, physique dictates the force with which you can lift weapons, physique. thus the uh, amount of damage you can one. cause, Choose healthier you are, the more damage you can take, toughness is your basic resistance to damage, so two of these things are just being tough, physique is like actually being able to lift stuff, I think physique is sort of like your show muscles, you know, like the stuff that makes you look buff and sweet, physique but it's not like really practical, so we're going to go with that. Combat. We, we totally are a show pony, guys. We, like, come away from the gym like, oh, yeah, look at my guns, ladies. Um, ye wait. Undo? No. Okay, we, we are now, we are a show pony. We have uh, awesome physique. We've been training all these years, and we look down on the day of graduation, we're like, damn, we're ripped. We, we're not that tough, uh, but that's okay. It's okay. You will also notice flashing when you have enough experience to spend. I have given you a basic pack of supplies. It'll be enough for a while. Okay. Now there's I mean, I hope I find more. I hope I just don't end up starving out there. I hope I find enough food to sustain me. Quest completed. Arr! You have successfully completed your training and graduated as a hero. I took my shirt off to scream during the, the coronation ceremony in front of all my peers and teachers. You take a quest and track with the map table. Check the okay. For more quests. All right. Well, you know, we have come a long way today, guys. Um, I think what our plan is now is we are going to take one quest here today, and then we're going to wrap up our video um, because uh, I think we're going to do a part two for this game. 
So our first, our only quest for today that we're gonna take is our wasp wasp menace and the picnic area infestation. Killing wasps, what? Snow troll, this sounds more interesting, but I guess I can't take it yet. Uh, suppress an uprising, that, I wanna do that. Or a minion camp, these all sound more interesting. Killing some wasps, I mean, I guess I'll have to take it, but uh, your renown is not high enough. So we need more renown. So let's kill some wasps, I guess. So this will be our last mission for today. Um, but this is such a big game um, that I, I, I am enjoying it. I do want to do a part two and, and see more of the game. So today, let's wrap up by killing some wasps. Oh, God. Well, what like lowly, like a low level to start as a, a hero? Although, I get, you know what? In the real world, Remember, wasps are actually... Will really scary. Like, I've been stung by wasps. Wasps are really annoying. Wasps the um, area. Me. Oh, this guy's telling me about the wasps. Yeah, like, like wasps are no joke. Um, I actually had two uh, get in my basement a while back. Um, and I, was, I, I managed to squish one. But it was, like, terrifying. The thing was, like, buzzing all around. Every time you get close Follow to me. it and you're getting ready to attack it, you're afraid it'll, like, sting you and stuff. you got to be really careful. One actually landed on my lamp and, like, crawled into the lamp. It landed on the dial that you turn to turn on the lamp, and it crawled in, and it was buzzing around inside the lamp, and I was so scared I had to put tape on the lamp so that it couldn't get out, and it just, like, suffocated in there because, like, you know, it's a bad way to go, but it's a wasp. What are you going to do? Um, anyway, what's going on here? Is this the bully from when I was a kid? Join the bully. I still think no, well, young you sir. Want, I'll tell you something that'll really annoy you. Thanos has some internal moral compass, you know. Hey, Who is this guy an anyway? Like yourself, but look at me now, begging to survive and getting bullied by this brat all the time. Yeah, help the beggar get rid of the bully. Eh, okay. You must all right. be able to get rid of him somehow. Anything will do. Use your imagination. What could we do to get rid of the bully? Use the expressions. Wait, what? The D-pad. Did I just fart? Wait, hold on a second here. Items, expressions. Another way to interact with people is to use expressions. These simple actions and skills can be used. New expressions are required. What? Expressions? Join with the bully. I already said no, dude. He's like, <laughs> these guys are just like staring at each other hey, awkwardly. Where's the bullying happening? Okay, hold on. Let's use an expression on this guy. I want to figure this out. Oh, God. Well, Go away, dude. You I'm mind. not going to help you. Um, Expressions. Hey, renown. Stealth. Alignment. Social. Giggle. Now? Belch. Follow. Wait. Uh, what's renown? Flirt? Oh man, we totally gotta flirt with somebody. We gotta, we gotta find uh, a damsel and flirt with her. All right, let's. Uh, what are we doing here? Let's belch. Let's see this in action. Use. I used to be someone, you know. Did nothing. All right, I have a backup plan for getting rid of this bully. It's called attacking with a sword. Ow! You lousy heroes are all the same. Ah, <laughs> uh, you heroes attacking bullies, all the same. What are you joking? You're you're a bully. What do you think a hero's gonna do, man? When you're on the side of evil, don't be surprised when heroes beat you up. All right, you're welcome. I literally sliced a kid in half. I don't know. I got good points for that though. Physically assaulting children with a sword. Moral, according to this game. I like it. You know what? I dig it. I dig it. All right, where are we going here? Um, me. Th this game takes place kind of in an interesting time, by the way. I know it's a fictional time, but look, this like lamppost is from like the 1800s or something, like 19th century England. Hey, um, so yeah, I wonder. Like, are we gonna fight dragons and stuff? I, like, I don't know anything about fable necessarily. Uh, I guess I guess we'll find out. Anyway, let's kill some wasps because this town. Need some help. Maybe it's not like animal wasps. It's like, you know, waspy, like upper class, uh, annoying people. Uh, maybe it's like wasps. Oh, oh God. Oh no. Oh my. Oh God. Oh, it is. Oh, they killed a guy. They're, they're sucking his blood. 
Oh God! Kill all the wasps in the picnic area. 500 gold. Oh God, and I'm shirtless. Why do I keep taking my shirt off? I don't know. All right. Oh God, this these things are serious. Let's just shoot them from a distance. I am actually afraid to get close. There we go. Done. You're welcome. Don't just stand there getting stung in the future. Run for it. Let's try and get this one over here. All right, here we go. We gotta line this shot up perfectly. And it's actually pretty hard to aim. And go! Oh, we missed. We missed. Oh god, wasps are coming! Oh my god, switch your sword, switch your sword, run, run, run! Holy crap! Oh, wasp block. Uh, just stand here and block, man. I'm blocking like bee stings. All right, attack! All right, roll, duck, dodge, and dip, and attack! All right, let's suck up this experience. All right, let, let, you know what? Forget about the bow and arrow. Let's just slaughter these things He-Man style. And attack! Oh, we got a two for one there. All right, let's kill this thing that's buzzing around. Get over here. Oh, it's not even interested in me. Bam! There we go. Wait, I want to flirt with you. Wait, wait, wait. come back. Ah, forget it. Yeah, she's gone. <laughs> we'll, we'll flirt with somebody in the next video. I promise. All right, here. God, what is that? It's like a mother bug. Oh my god. You know what? These wasps, I, ma I made fun. These things are more serious than it looks. They really do need a hero to take care of this. Let's just kill this thing from a distance. Um, oh god. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um, the arrows seem to do nothing. Seems to be immune to arrows. How about we Thor it up? Let's get our lightning powers out. Zap! Okay, is that doing anything? I think it is. It has a health bar on the right side near the mini-map. What's happening? Oh, it's... It can, like, literally spawn baby wasps. That is a dangerous mother wasp. Okay, let's continue lightning bolting this thing. Seems to only, it seems to be vulnerable to electricity. Um, okay, here we go, zap! 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 Now this, this is actually pretty easy. Let's keep doing this. All right. Well, you know what? There, there are a lot of just people dead here. Oh, I'm out of, okay, let's just attack! Attack! Oh, you can't attack with a sword. Yeah, there's a lot of, like, dead bodies here, man. Like, this is crazy. Like, let's make sure this this mother bee or whatever never comes back. Mother wasp, I guess. There, we did it! And the people come back to rejoice! Yay! <laughs> yes! Yes, praise me! Thank you, thank you. I guess narcissism is not uh, a trait that they get out of you at the like, Citadel or whatever. Uh, we got the wasp queen's head as a trophy. And we are cheering shirtless... Shouting shirtlessly at all the people who've come to cheer, cheer for us. I, I like that. Um, renown 200, experience 880. Yeah, that is a lot. You've become more renowned. The higher your renown level, the more your presence is acknowledged, celebrated, and even feared. I like that last one. To increase your renown further, perform quests, show off quest trophies. Wait, showing off trophies? Isn't that kind of a douche move? I guess that earns us renown. All renown increases are displayed at the bottom of the screen with the golden face icon. All right, so narcissism is a good thing in Fable. Be a narcissist who only talks about yourself. That's the way to do it. Um, all right. Uh, well, thank you, everybody. I enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, if it if it pleases you, I'm gonna pillage your picnic here. What do we got? Green apple. It will take it. This looks like uh, apple pie. My favorite. Anything else here? We're going to take all your apples. Just uh, stepping over the corpses of your fallen brothers to steal your food. Um, hope you don't mind. Uh, a, a standard beard in card form. You found a hairstyle card. Use this at your nearest barber. Uh, wait. What does the barber do when you give him a card? Um, oh, a health potion. Uh, does he glue hair onto your face to approximate a beard? That's not how beards work. You have to, like, spend some time growing facial hair, and then the barber, like, styles it. Imagine walking into a barbershop and showing him a picture of a beard and saying, I want this, and the barber being like, you know, Sonny, get the glue! And then they, like, just, you know, glue a bunch of hair on your face. That Whatever. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Of all the things in this game, we just killed a giant mother wasp. 
I guess of all the things, that's like the least crazy uh, thing that that we could imagine. Anyway, um, yeah, I think we should uh, wrap things up here, guys. So um, this has been our first part of our Fable Let's Play. We're going to do a part two. We're definitely not going to have time to finish this game. But for these longer games, I like to... Uh, I like to kind of go in and uh, explore the game as much as I can, get a taste of what the game is like. And for a game this big, I think we need more than one uh, video. So if you guys have been enjoying this video so far, don't forget to like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to come back in a few days so you can see the follow-up part because we will do more quests as an adult this time. Um, and so, yes. Yes, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video today, and uh, I hope you will be back. Um, and with that said... Um, until next time, my friends, you all take care of yourselves. And I'm just going to be hanging out here in front of the Citadel. What is this guy saying? What did he say to me? Is this guy trying to sell me something? I'll tell you what, guys. If you want to know, if you want to know what this what guy is selling us, you're going to have to come back next time. See how I entice you with mystery and intrigue? Um, yeah, so I'm just, you know what? I'm just going to be here staring this guy in the I face awkwardly. Um, so, uh, I hope you guys will come back and join us next time. And, uh, until then, um, you all take care of yourselves and we'll see you soon. I, uh, all right, guys. Peace. You won't be disappointed here. You won't be disappointed here. You won't be disappointed here.